So, I'm out here in my boat, right? My pedal boat. Right now it's just pedals anyway. Oh, and I should, should answer this question. Why didn't I uh, do fiberglass on these seams? I was just sick of fiberglassing. I wanted to rivet something. So I, on the, uh, you know, the, the paddle cover, it's riveted on the side. So anyway, I'm out here driving my boat. And it's a beautiful day and there's a breeze. And when I wasn't pedaling, oh, I'm gonna stop pedaling right now. The breeze is pushing me. Now, not that this is the first time I've ever thought about sails, but it started me thinking about sails for obvious reasons. And uh, I just kind of got this idea that I think might really be sort of amazing. So, uh, all right, so I've got this, I think it's nine foot wide boat. So it's like almost three meters wide, 23 feet long. I don't remember the meters, uh, seven and a half or ish. Um, and then I've got this post here and like, you know, a, a part here in the middle and then I've got a thing back here. Um, <clears throat> this used to hold up uh, a solar panel roof. Now what I was thinking about just now was still kind of using these things to have a roof, like a just a shade roof made out of fiberglass. And I was thinking of using the dome mold I have. So I have this fiberglass dome mold I made a few years ago, and it makes a dome that's about twice as wide as the boat. So if I made a, a roof piece, you know the the curve is gentle enough. It would it would make a pretty good it would make a pretty good roof. Like it wouldn't come right down on the sides. It would be like you know kind of like this. And uh, I was thinking I can make a big square one of those at the back, and a big square one of those at the front. And the nice thing about a dome shape is you don't have to make it very thick because, you know, a dome shape will, will hold its shape. It'll be strong, you know, like an eggshell, so it doesn't have to be very heavy or anything. So that'll be a great shade roof. And then I was thinking about ways. So I'll have one up there, one back here, but let's just talk about the one up there. Thinking about having a way that is attached to a mast that goes from here to there and it can just pop up and then the mast is there and it can have like a, a couple cables or something coming back to keep it from going forward. Basically it just, it just pops up and then to put it down and then I got, and then I have my, my shade roof when I just want to be under this, you know, not being burned by the sun. And then when I get some good breeze, like right now, oh, this would be amazing breeze. Just, I can just whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, maybe I wouldn't let them go whoop. I'd have to let them up gently because I don't want them to break anything. But I think that would be awesome. Oh, oh, you know what else I just realized? Oh, this will be cool. So I make them like big square sails. So they'd be kind of like pirate sails, right? Not that pirates are the only ones with square sails, but you know, whatever. And then I can put giant adventure builder symbols on them, like huge ones. Oh, coolest boat ever. Oh, now I think I have to do it. I, I think I have enough fiberglass to do that. It shouldn't take that much because the, the the things don't have to be that thick. I just have to figure out a uh, some kind of mast thing that'll be strong enough. Oh, that shouldn't be that hard. It'll pop up that I can control the the sails angle just with some ropes and pulleys. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to do this. Well, I'm I'm gonna go keep thinking. But this sounds like a really good idea right now, and I just I thought I should get it down on camera. Maybe I'll, I'll go write it down on papers too. Draw some pictures. And another th cool thing that'll work with the sail thing is I can sit on this side of the boat or I can sit way over on that side of the boat. So, you know, if the wind is pushing the boat that way, I'll go sit on that side to hold that side down. If the wind's pushing that way, I sit on this side. And I can even have two people both pedaling on one side if the strong wind's pushing the boat over. But then also, I could only put one sail up if the winds are strong or I can I can just put the the sails part way up. They don't have to go all the way up. If they, if it's strong winds, and I don't want to put them all the way up. Man, this sounds really good. And uh, like one of the reasons I haven't done a lot of sail stuff is that the winds the winds are not that consistent. Like they change. But the thing is, I have a pedal boat. If I get to a part where I need to go somewhere and the wind is just not cooperating, pop sails back down, put my shades down, and just pedal through. I would just use the sails as help help pedaling anyway. Because I could already pedal all the way to town and back. 
Oh, this sounds good. All right, let's just do some driving. Sorry if there's some wind on the microphone. Try to block it. There is also another reason that I'm kind of excited about this. It's that I won't have to dismantle the zombie chopper. Because I was gonna maybe take the solar panels off the zombie chopper and put them on here and maybe take the motor off and all that stuff. But if I, if I do sales here, I can leave the zombie chopper intact. And then I still have my, my single person fast driving boat.